Hello everyone. In this topic we will discuss about the protocol layers. So, the computer network are created by the different entities and this different computer network are need to be connect each other and need to a data communicate with each other. So, for that we need a network model. So, we have two different well known network model. First one is OSI model and second one is TCP IP model. The OSI model consists total 7 layers and TCP IP model consists 5 layers. TCP IP model also known as a internet model. So understanding these layers we need a real time example. So let us see the real time example. Sender sent to letter to receiver. At that time sender write a mail and put into the envelope and drop into mailbox. From mailbox the courier boy received it and drop into the post office. At post office the letter is sorted and passed to the carrier transformation. The parcel is carried from the source to the destination. At receiver side the letter delivered to the post office sorted again and passed to the mailbox of the receiver. Receiver received it, open it and the read it. So layer use the services of the layer immediately below it. For example, higher layer provide the services to the middle layer, middle layer provide the services to the lower layer and lower layer provide the services to the carrier. So in OSI layer, it is similar higher layer, middle layer and lower layer. So each layer use the services of the layer immediately below it. In TCP IP model, it become a dominant commercial architecture because it is used, tested and extensively used in the internet compared to the OSI model. In OSI layer, the OSI layer is framework that allowed the communication between the computer systems. See, in this animation, the computer are communicate with each other. So OSI it stand for the open system interconnection. The OSI layer having seven different layer, namely the first one is physical layer, second one data link layer, third network layer, fourth transport layer, fifth session layer, sixth presentation layer and seventh application layer. So the from the lower side to upper side the it is hierarchical form. So physical layer is lowest level and application layer is highest level. This OSI layer developed by the ISO International Standard Organization in 1970s. Using this layer the network communicate with each other. Each layer calls upon the services of the just layer below it. For example, network layer provide the services to the data link layer and give the services to the upper layer transport layer. If sender sent to send the data to the receiver, it pass through the all layer in both side. For example, in a network layer, the communication between the machine is a peer to peer process and part using particular protocols. So organization of the OSI layer, the data move down through the layer of the sending device to the receiving device and data moves upward through the layer of the receiving device from sender side. D7 is a data unit at layer 7. Similarly, D6 is a data unit at layer 6 and so on. This data unit including with the header and at the layer 2, the T2 trailing part added at the layer 2 in this data unit. So after that, it convert into the digital format at physical layer and the sender physical layer data is changed to the electromagnetic signal 
and transport along with the physical medium or we can say physical link at the receiving side it convert again to the digital format and pass to the upper layer then upper layer received the data from the lower layer and pass to the then upper side then upper side layer pass to the data to the receiving side when receiver received the data it, it remove the header part as well as the trailing part so this header part and trailing part removed from the data unit and take a action as per their layer protocol.